would you rather have a hundred real fans or 1,000 fake ones? Let me put it this way. Would you rather have a hundred real dollars or a thousand fake ones? Now we're talking. Hi everybody, my name is Micah Gonzalez. That is M-I-C-A Gonzalez with a Z. And for more quick mindset related videos about creator life, about productivity and goal setting, then please consider doing the whole liking and subscribing thing. That all of that will really help me get my messages like this across to more creative unicorns just like you out there. So thank you very much. So let's go back to the question. Would you rather have an audience of 100 real fans or would you rather have a thousand fake ones? And let me clarify that fake fans doesn't always mean bots or paid accounts handled by real people. Fake fans can very much be those ghost followers that you end up getting when you join one of those kind of generic like for like or follow for follow engagement groups that, you know, they promise to boost your follower count. They promise to boost the like count on your posts. And while yes, you probably do get more of both, I can't help wondering why we feel like we have to hack the algorithm using fake vanity metrics just like these. Because let's face it, follower counts and like counts at their core, they're vanity metrics. And this isn't to say that all followers and all likes are, are equal. There are countless of creators out there that are, you know, they, ha they are making content for a real following. They have real likes. And to say that all followers and all likes are fake would be kind of naive and a little more than shady. What I'm saying instead is that likes and follows are called vanity metrics for a reason. A lot of followers and likes make us look good, but they're flawed in that they can be manipulated to make somebody look better than they might actually be. We become so conditioned as creators to make gaining followers our goal, but have we forgotten why we want to do that in the first place? Do we want more followers, more fans, simply because of our own vanity? Or is it because we know we have something to share? Whether it's informational, educational content, or entertaining vlogs, or skits, or movies, or inspiring stories and ideas. How often do we actually remind ourselves that we're sharing our content for others to benefit from instead of the other way around? Okay, so am I saying that you're not allowed to set goals for your subscriber growth or your follower count? No. What I'm trying to say is that when you're maybe setting goals for growing your channel or growing whatever platform it is that you're on, you should also consider other things as well. Instead of asking how many followers do I want at the end of this year, at the end of this quarter, and then just ending it there, why don't you add a few more follow-up questions, very meaningful follow-up questions, by the way, for that goal-setting sesh? Why not ask, what kind of content can I create that will get me that real dedicated audience? How can I improve my future content? How can I make every piece of content that I release from here on out at least 1% better every single time? Or go the extra step. How can I nurture my existing audience? How can I turn them into ambassadors for my content so that they are helping me share my work with other people that they know and can help me grow my audience with like-minded people just like them. So instead of focusing on the slow growth of your follower count, if that is you right now, focus on the quality of the content that you're putting out. And hey, are you worrying about the number of followers you have when the last time you uploaded a video or uploaded a post was like a year ago? Give people a reason to follow you and remember that if success as a creator were meant to be easy, then it would probably be quite unfulfilling. That's all I had for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it with another creator friend of yours. And as always, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, you know, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!